first off, I mean, first and foremost, you know, what I like helping people figure out is how much do they need? Um, cause I like it when people get the right amount in place and, um, they don't end up with more than they need and they end up with the right amount. So I'm going to talk about that. Um, it's the first the questions I first ask people when they get in front of me. So the first thing is to ask a question and it's not exactly the funnest question in the world, but it is something to consider. And that is that, um, the question is, is if you were to, if you had passed away, yesterday who would be impacted today financially and to what extent so by that I mean you know who in your life um, if, if, you'd, if you so I'll just talk about myself if I had passed away yesterday to today financially impacted would be my wife uh, so for people it's wife husband spouse partner um, you know uh, my kids would be financially impacted for a lot of people. Maybe there's a business partner that would be financially impacted. Sometimes people think of their charity as being financially impacted. Um, so, uh, or church, if they give to their church con consistently, um, you know, for most people it's, it's, it's the top, it's immediate family, you know, spouse, partner, kids, um, people that would be financially impacted and, uh, to figure out how much. Um, so the next question then is, you know, so the question is, is who would be, impacted today financially and to what extent so what i ask people is i say what would you want to have happen what would actually happen and is there a gap is you know is is what you want to have happen what would actually happen and i mean it is worthy of note that i don't just help people with um passing away for some you know for a lot of people i also put into place plans such that if something were to happen to them if they got hurt or if they got sick also what would happen financially so I'll, i mean today i'm not going to talk about illness i'm going to talk about passing away away and i mean the other parts of it are illness and injury are the two big things that can two of the big things or an emergency that's the other one i won't go into that today uh, that's more of the full financial planning that i do with people um so you know if if you had uh i'll say passed away if you had passed away yesterday who would be impacted to what extent? What would be the ideal thing that you'd want to happen, have happen financially in a less than ideal situation? So ideally, what would you want? So when people say, you know, I, I want to make sure that my spouse is taken care of, I want to make sure that my partner, my children, you know, usually people are saying things like, um, you know, I'd want to make sure that my, you know, mortgage is paid off. I'd want to make sure that my funeral expenses are covered. I'd want to make sure that um, my kids could still go to school if I'm the breadwinner in the family, that sort of thing. Um, you know, uh, in my case, when I bought my first life insurance policy, one of the reasons I bought it was because I did, my wife was in a job she hated. And if I passed away and she didn't have my income, she'd probably never be able to quit that job. So, I mean, that's a bit of a unique situation, but, um, you know, for some people it is like not having to take a second job. Um, so, you know, uh, keeping to one job or maybe if someone's not working, they wouldn't have to start working. Um, so cheaping job or not having to work. Um, so those are the things. Now, then you you say like what would happen so this is what would ideally happen and then what would actually happen um, and is there a difference now in order to help out with that a little bit what I then do is I say okay what are the numbers associated with this so just to give an example uh, you know someone might come to me and say well um, you know especially someone in a big city like I'm, lic I'm licensed in uh, all of Ontario all of British Columbia so people in Vancouver and Toronto it's not uncommon that people are getting in front of me and they say I've, they've got five hundred thousand uh, dollars on the left on a mortgage um, funeral expenses you know that's easily um, I'll say ten you know everyone's different but I'll say ten uh, making sure they want their kids to end up going to school um, that they would have wanted their RESPs to keep going um, so that's easily um, you know I'll just I'm just throwing numbers out you know like numbers like a hundred thousand maybe uh, if the kids are young enough they can invest that money and then have enough to go to school um, keeping up jobs. So another thing that, you know, life insurance really, it shouldn't be called life insurance um, because car insurance, if, if, if you smash up your car, you get a new one. House insurance, if it burns down, you get a new one. Life, you pass away, you don't get a new one. It doesn't replace your life. It replaces the money that you would have brought in had you continued to live under normal circumstances. So it's really usually income insurance. It's keep the house insurance financially you know pay off the mortgage insurance that sort of thing uh, so I really think that you know if they had to go back and rename it it would have a different name so a lot of times people just say to me like well you know in my case I'm 40 
one. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to work for another 20 years, so my income for the next 10 to 20 years, I would want that to be covered. Uh, because if I were here, I'd be working for the next 20 years, but if I'm not, I'd want my income to be covered. So that's another thing. So if someone's making, let's say, $100,000 a year, and they say that they want to have 10 years of that replaced, then um, that's kind of like the overall, you know, another overall number that people might um, might bring to the table. But I'll leave it as um, kind of broken down item per item. Um, so yeah, I mean, mortgage for no kids. Actually, I'll leave it there because keeping, uh, if, if I want my spouse to not have to either take a job she doesn't like or having to take a second job, um, that's a big part of that is going to be replacing my income. So, you know, so we add all that up. Pretty specific number there. What was it? 1,610, something like that. All right. Great. Now, we apply for that. And you find out if you qualify or not. 